only survivor of a crash that killed two motorcyclists is talking about the night she almost died. It happened last week on Des Moines East Side. The driver accused in the crash ran from the scene. Tonight in a KCCI 8 News exclusive, Marcus McIntosh learned about the sole survivor's recovery and has her message to the driver who took off. Steve, we sat down with Stacy Coles Bailey, who was working with a therapy and rehabilitation team at Yonker Rehabilitation at Iowa Methodist Medical Center. It was her first time outside since the tragedy. It feels amazing. It it feels good to even be here, to be honest. Stacy Coles Bailey's memories after the crash are spotty, but she does remember her attempts to help and her brother's voice. I heard him yelling for Chris and I, I do remember crawling, trying to crawl up and I, and I lifted my leg and my leg was bent completely backwards. Just dangling. When she woke up in the hospital with multiple broken bones, her first thoughts focused on those riding with her. We're saying, is my brother and Christy alive? And they wouldn't answer me. And, and they just kept saying, it's bad. Learning her brother Jerry Coles and his girlfriend Christy Hyde did not make it was difficult for her to handle. Stacy gets strength though from their memories. That helps her get stronger every day and to keep going. They wouldn't want me to be down and you know they'd want me to carry on. Stacy was happy to learn the man accused of hitting them and taking off. Quintonio Heron was arrested and faces charges that include two counts of homicide by vehicle and has some understanding. Accidents happen, I get that part of it. But to leave someone to die at the scene, I lost two loved ones, my only brother and my best friend who got drug underneath a car and he still got out and left. I don't understand that. Stacy leans on her family because it could take another six to eight weeks of recovery for a body put back together by titanium rods, plates, screws, staples, and stitches. And if given the chance, she does have a question for Heron. What would he do if someone did this to his family? There is a Stacy Coles Bailey recovery and medical needs GoFundMe page to help with expenses. Now, Stacy tells me what happened will not stop her from getting back on a motorcycle in the future. Her brother Jerry's funeral is Tuesday and she is determined to be there.